Hey, welcome back. Uh, today we'll just uh, have tips on what my daughter runs uh, in the 21.5 class and the open class. Um, so outside uh, the body here, we use a scale looking Tamiya Ebro. And for the open class, we use a, an old um, protoform type S. So a little old <laughs> in terms of uh, equipment. Uh, if you look at the body, these graphics are really stickers on the inside. Uh, but we use water slide. Um, all right. So body is uh, the number one. It's a very important factor in terms of handling and setup. So sometimes you have to choose it wisely. Um, Sometimes look at what the fast guys are running and maybe that's a body for you. But typically the fast guys have a high uh, a body that has a lot of steering. So if you're relatively new to the hobby, it might be too much for you. So sometimes a more neutral body is better. Like this one is more neutral than this. This has more steering, but this has more easier to drive, more precise. Uh, the wings are very important as well for tuning so for example if you're going high speed sweeper and the rear end steps out uh, maybe try a bigger wing a more high down for swing and if you think your rear is too stuck and you don't have enough steering uh, go with a smaller wing here in the blinky class I can get away with smaller wings whereas the faster open class uh, we use a regular size wing all right, under the hood, yeah, so here, both are a relatively old um, 20 uh, X-Ray T4 2018 model. So it's still rear motor drive, uh, despite the popularity of mid-motor. But right now, I believe, uh, you know, or at least this is, these are the two, uh, probably the two fastest chassis or... Uh, on our local track uh, for club racing um, uh, last night my daughter won the blinky class with this car and the open class with this car uh, there were some modern cars there like mid motors um, so even these these designs are still fast if you can set it up correctly so that's what we're going to talk about the setup uh, all right so the difference for the slow class this one blinky uh, it depends on the philosophy so my philosophy is um, I make that chassis stiffer than the high-powered uh, open class because with less power there's less wheel spin and less need for traction I want more flow more corner momentum speed whereas this one really you need more traction to make you uh, maximize the power so how do i get uh, here if you look i use a lot of screws uh, sometimes i put a screw here uh, to make it stiffer this one to make it softer i have less less screws and i even remove the screw on the top deck so i only use two screws instead of four front and rear and that's how I get the, the flex and some traction. Suspension is the same. Um, outermost holes, uh, 2.5 to 2.8 progressive front springs. And either 2.9 here or 2.5 to 2.9, I think, progressive spring for this one. Uh, I use F SMJ springs. Can use X-ray. It's all this. It's just. It's a matter of preference. I uh, I like the progressive uh, springs. Uh, what else? So in terms of uh, equipment, um, you can still go fast without really having to buy the latest and most expensive stuff. So this one for the Blinky, I'm just using a Hobbywing Quick Run. Uh, very cheap. Also a cheap surpass motor. Cheap. Um, relatively cheap uh, what's this power HD R12 servo so this has the same servo 
Uh, this is a very old 2010 hobby win, their first generation of ESCs. Um, still works. <laughs> it's only 60 amps. So in the open class, I, uh, 60 amp ESC is pretty fast. She, my daughter, I think last night set probably the, one of the fastest times, if not the fastest so far in our layout um, with this 60 amp ESC. Uh, motor is much more 17.5 so yeah that's uh, this is how the cars are uh, the main thing is my setup is high roll center so underneath um, if the pins the, the hinge pins are way up here uh, I think the effect of that it makes the car more reactive but uh, but it may reduce traction it may it depends I think side grip will be compromised in low grip situation. It depends, but I like it this way. Uh, the standard is middle. I've tried low roll, but you know it depends on your sir, your track, I guess, and your philosophy. So both of them are high roll centers uh, to try to get the maximum corner speed out of the car. Uh, because these are old cars and I'm just trying to find ways to really make it competitive um, uh, compared to the modern cars uh, yeah. so apart from that yeah, there's a lot of tuning when it comes to these uh, spacers I use the longest um, camber links for stability and less less vari you know less camber changing I like things to move a little less so I don't like a lot of camber movement I don't like a lot of bump steer I don't like so everything I try to set it up with minimal changes as the suspension compresses to keep the car stable uh, what else can I is the question so here is a spool the rear diff is 3k oil and this one is slightly heavier 5k so that on power exit it will steer more we can put more power without it under steering too much um, uh, the battery is uh, silver back but this is very old this is from 2018 but still good so still capable of pushing power in local club racing uh, charger is this cheap um, I think Turnigy Accusel very cheap like 30 bucks I bought it it can only charge to 6 amps but yeah even in the stock class where people charge 20 40 amps to get that extra time i don't um i don't bother with that i, I like my, to run it you know i don't want to break my batteries uh so i, I think i you know uh, the biggest part is really the tires and the traction compound so i was using last night my daughter was using rush rush tires that were pretty old they were from 2018 so they were not brand new but uh the traction we compound we developed my daughter and i called gold i think you've seen the prior videos that really helped a lot in making old tires competitive and in high grip it allowed the car to really be easier to control less traction roll and still have that that speed um so the philosophy is not always maximum grip max you know there must be too much grip will make your car traction roll too edgy too hard to drive um it's just hard and uh, the speed every time your car is edgy it rolls suddenly um you i think that loses momentum you know so this is more flowing so even in high grip track the car is relatively flat and stable but with enough forward traction to keep it uh, moving fast and that's it there's no secrets to um, our setup I'm happy to share oh if you want to notice that that lap record the track record was probably was done without a front sway bar I removed it because my daughter keeps saying she needed more steering so in the end I just removed it uh, even up to the time it was very high grip and for some reason she said the car was still pretty good not not she liked it so I kept it off but this one I have the sway bar front and rear 
So the the thing is, it's really the setup depends on how much power you have. The more power you have, the more the more you need traction, and you get that through suspension setup, uh, flex primarily chassis flex. If it's a slow class where the power is very, it's hard to get wheel spin and overpower the car. Make it as stiff as you can, is my philosophy, so that it can get as much corner speed as possible. Ah, so setting for the, the this one is, there is no turbo, I use a lot of boost. So 20 degree on the motor, boost is plus 36. So as, as, the, as you go up the throttle and the RPM, it adds timing. So 20 degree plus 36 in the end. That's around 56 degree timing from from zero to full acceleration, full throttle. This one is blinky, so no, no. The gearing here is 3.7, FDR is, ah, sorry, yeah. FDR 3.7, timing is 45 degrees. I tried to keep the motor in the 140 degree temp, so nothing, this one makes a big, um, this one helps putting the, the shroud it really helps cool the motor. So just try it. I mean, uh, the cooler your motor, the faster you go. This is very cheap to do, just plastic and cut it. So the airflow is really directed at the motor. Um, that's one tip I would like uh, to share as well. So just make it, it's easy to make. Um, the belt, I put the traction compound I use that is very safe. I put it on the belt as well to make it more free. And I notice it is more free. Um, for I'm lazy in terms of maintenance, so for the universe, the the, the joints here, I just put um, what do you call it? The engine oil additive. So it's a thicker engine oil. I put it here and just put it. Uh, yeah, that's it. I don't even disassemble or remove it from the car, and it seems to work. If it's good for the engines, it must be good for, you know, RC joints. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, here also you'll notice the rear, I use the ARS, active rear toe. Whereas here I use the standard. Um, hard to say which is better, you know, has pros and cons. I'm using both, both are fast, so it's just a lot of preference, tuning, and setup. Um, no one correct. Um, answer or solution to going fast depends on your philosophy driving style um, and so on so our philosophy me and my daughters need cars to have flow it should flow through the corners uh, less herky-jerky uh, keep the momentum uh, smoothness driving smoothness is more the philosophy here and uh, what else so if you still have questions just drop it in the comments happy to share uh, tips um, no no secrets in my channel as much as i can i want everyone to enjoy the hobby so if you're a newcomer uh, don't get intimidated if you think you know you need the best equipment we have some drivers in, in really using there are some touring cars that are really cheap right now like a hundred dollars just for the for the chassis that more it, and it's modern modern design that should be good enough way more good enough than than uh, what you need so you don't need to buy the newest kits that are like six hundred dollars they're they're good kits that are just one sixth the price even the electronics you can get it you know buy the cheapest you want it's really you have to get the compound traction compound and a decent set of tires the tires probably if you just you're a new newcomer you can use that for six months just keep running it keep running it until it really dies so uh, so the hobby can be cheap for for newbies you know it doesn't have you don't have to follow what the other people are doing that they spend new tires every race day and so on and so my daughter uses 2018 tires given to her second hand so we don't buy tires uh, people give, donate tires to my, to us i don't like to buy tires so they donate the, their old tires and we use it um and luckily the traction compound we develop helps really restore those tires to give more speed 
and that's uh, and yeah so luckily last night she won both the blinky and the uh, open against some of very fast drivers in uh, the fastest drivers in our country uh, it's a club race but still it's a good competition it's a lot of fun so it still can be done you know it's still uh, set up plus driving is still very important it's not just about the equipment uh, i've seen tto2s go fast if you saw my other video my friend vincente his tto is so fast <laughs> it's scary and it's like not it's underpowered but yeah he he's driving it very well and he set it up very well so yeah the setup really has a lot to do with with um, speed and practice so my other video prior to this was also practice uh, we go to the track try to get as much practice as we can yeah that's those are the real ways to go fast not think that it's all about stronger equipment if you look at this this is not the strongest it's not even you know i've seen newcomers have stronger equipment than this <laughs> Uh, but you know I appreciate what I have and uh, I don't like to really this is a hobby it's not you know, I wish I can buy the new kits I like the new I like the new X4 it looks great yeah, but at the same time I also saw the Mugen and it looks great uh, yeah so they all look great but I like this because it's a tank meaning you can this thing, these x-rays are so durable I haven't replaced a single part yet in over three years of racing hard it kudos to x-ray for building strong kits <laughs> yeah um, that's it i don't think there's any more uh, i can add for today uh, it's a nice sunday let's have a enjoy the day summer racing have a good race uh, day if you're uh, Hope you guys win as well and let's uh, try to keep going faster together you know sharing tips and ideas and keep practicing all right see you see you Two, This is the 21.5 Blinky Plus. Lots of drivers today. Good fun, good fun.